Hello boys and girls, it's Miss E here back again today. We're here to do another amazing Scholastic News. So if you would please find your Scholastic News that looks like this, it says meet Christian Robinson. You're gonna find your Scholastic News and then you're also gonna find your highlighter. Okay, go and find those supplies. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always push pause. All right, let's begin. Meet Christian Robinson. He is an illustrator. He made the pictures for this book. How does he do it? He is also an author. He writes the words in books too. Christian tells stories. He tells stories with pictures. The stories get printed in books. As you read, think of four things Christian does when he's making a story. First, he gets an idea. Christian sits and thinks. He drinks tea. He pets his dog. This makes him feel calm. Christian thinks about the story he wants to tell. He uses his imagination. Next, he goes to his studio. That is where he works. He doesn't have to go far. It is in the garage behind his house. Christian makes pictures in his studio. He uses many kinds of art supplies. Can you name some of them? Paper. Tape, paint, brushes, water, roller. Then he draws his ideas. He draws tiny sketches on little pieces of paper. He uses a pen. If he doesn't like a sketch, he crumples the paper up. He throws it out. He starts again. It's okay to make mistakes, says Christian. Last, he adds color. He makes bigger pictures. He adds color to them. He uses paint and shapes he cuts from paper. This is his final draft. That's what the pictures will look like in the book. Scissors. Paint. Cut paper. Christian as a kid. Christian loved stories when he was a kid. He drew stories. He liked to draw dinosaurs. He read stories. This was his favorite book to read. He made up stories. He rode the bus with his Nana. He made up stories about what he saw on the bus. Christian. Nana. Perfect, boys and girls. So let's highlight some words together. So let's first highlight the word imagination. Can you take up your lovely high, take your lovely highlighter and highlight the word imagination? He uses his imagination. Okay, we've been talking a lot about what it means to use our imagination. And then we also saw that he uses many different art supplies. Okay. Um, what about let's let's highlight the word sketches. So he draws little pictures on little pieces of paper. With sketches. He draws little sketches. You guys do sketches a lot here in class. Okay. So we know that that's one thing he does when he's making a story. We also knew know that he needs a lot of art supplies when he's making his stories. We know that he does sketches when he's making his stories. And then what's the last thing he does? His final draft. He works and works until he produces his final draft. He's ready to have it published. Great work. Okay. Let's see here. Zoom in a little bit. Find it in Christian's studio. Look at the items below. Find each one in the studio. So the studio is his art studio. We're going to click on it. So let's find the apple core. 
Where is the apple core? Mm, looking high, looking low. There it is. Apple core, say apple core, apple core. Nice. Okay, the next one is paper fish. Where is the paper fish? Looking high, looking low, looking high, looking low. Nice. Where is the lucky pencil? Can you find that? Wow, this is hard. Oh, oh do you see it? I see it. Oh. Awesome. What about the tea mug? Let's find the tea mug together here. Where is it? There it is. Perfect. What about the neighbor's cat? Where is the kitty kitty? There she or he is. What about, it says paste. So paste, so he uses some type of paste when he's making art. Where's paste? Can you find that? Where's paste? There it is. What about the spider friend? Oh, Miss E does not like spiders. Where is the spider friend? Hmm. Oh, it's really hard to find. There he is. Oh my gosh, last one, his dog's toy. Where is his dog's toy that looks like that? Hmm. Oh, my cursor's right on there. Oh, no, I was wrong. Never mind. Miss E would mess up there. Oh, you guys, they tricked me. Good there work. we go. Look, it looks so similar. Nice. Good work. Okay. Make sure you circled all of those items. So we just found them all together. So can you now take your pencil or your highlighter and circle all of those items? Nice work. Let's do our video. How would you like to take a trip to the rainforest? Meet a dancing giraffe and fly high with a superhero. All in one afternoon, you can do it by reading all kinds of books. With so many kinds of books out there, there is something for everyone. Do you like stories that are made up? Then you can read fiction. A fiction story comes from the author's imagination. Anything can happen in it. There could be a flying car, friendly monsters, or a mouse that dances. Fiction often has pictures called illustrations. It's also fun to read about true things. When you want to learn facts, read nonfiction. No matter what you're interested in, nonfiction can help you learn about it. Hmm. Let's say you're curious about spiders. Then, Take a look at this book. Wow. Did you know that most spiders have eight eyes? And look at that. It's a picture of a real spider. Many nonfiction books have photos. Some people like to look for hidden clues while they read. Does that sound like fun? Then you should read a mystery. In many mysteries, a detective is trying to find answers to something that is hard to figure out. Like, why is there a green slime on the front porch? Or, who stole the diamonds from the museum? Those are mysteries. Pal, Blamo, this is a comic. Sometimes comics are about superheroes. A lot of comics are funny. How do you know if you're reading a comic? Some comics have panels. These are boxes. Pictures and words go inside these boxes. Usually, there are speech bubbles too. Speech bubbles show you which character is talking. So now you know about four kinds of books you can read. Pretty great, right? Well, hang on, that's just the beginning. Do you like stories with magical fairies and talking toads? Read a fairy tale. How about a book that tells the story of a real person, like an astronaut or a soccer player? Read a biography. Do you like the way words sound when they rhyme? A book of poetry is fun anytime. Plus, 
There's science fiction if you like stories about robots and spaceships. You can pick up a ghost story if you like to get just a little bit scared. Boo! <laughs> no matter what you're into, you can find a book to match it. Now, you may already have a favorite kind of book, and that's great. But now that you know there are all kinds of books, why not try something different? You just might love what's inside it. Awesome! There are so many different genres of books. Boys and girls reading is awesome. Great video there. Let's do some vocabulary practice here. Okay. Illustrator, a person who makes pictures for a book or a magazine. Illustrator. Imagination. When you use your imagination, you make things up. Your imagination can help you get ideas for pictures or stories. Art supplies. Supplies are things you need to get something done. Art supplies are any things you may need to make art. Sketches. Simple drawings. Yeah, Ben, you guys do a lot of sketches here at school. Final draft. Writers often rewrite their stories many times to make them better. They may also make changes to drawings. Each version is called a draft. When the draft is final, it is finished. No more changes need to be made. Awesome. Play our game. Fingers crossed it'll load for us today. Wow, that was a quick load. Awesome. Library search and find. Search the library for different kinds of books. Click on the book when you find it. Awesome. So look for a book that's about dinosaurs. Okay. So let's try to find a book together, boys and girls, that maybe has a picture of a dinosaur on it. And that looks like a fish. Hmm. What about flower, bear? Oh, that looks like a, do you think it looks like a dinosaur? Maybe, let's see. Dinosaurs. Perfect. What about cars? Can you find a book with a front cover that has a picture of a car on it? Mm, take a look around. Car. Oh, right here? Well, that's a truck, but that is still considered a car. Let's try it. Oh, Miss E needs to look better. Okay. Hmm. Help me out. Oh, here it is. That was tricky. Okay. Penguins. Can we find a book that has a penguin on it? Where is it? Take a look and see. There it is. Penguins. What about a dog? What's a book that has a front cover with a photo of a dog on it, or we could say an illustration of a dog? Right there. Dogs. Perfect. What about robots? What do you see an, a front cover that has an illustration of a robot? Hmm. Right here. Robots. Perfect. Good work. Good work today. Wow, what a fun Scholastic News we had today together. If you would please put your Scholastic News away and your highlighter, highlighter away, that would be fabulous. And I will see you soon. That's going to be it for today. Bye.